problem with the Zoom application. It's and it's, it's here. Mm -hmm. Hello, teacher. Welcome. You're still alive. The microphone is on. Okay. I don't know what happened. Um, seems like the app was uh, frozen completely, so I couldn't do anything. Um, however, I think that it was possible to record the first minutes, so we don't have to repeat the class now. We're going to go on. And as I was telling you, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms so that you can share that funny anecdote with your classmates. I'm going to tell you one anecdote that I don't know if it's funny or it makes it will make you cry. But I remember that, or you will feel shame on, about what happened to me, right? Yeah, it's in, it, it says that my connection is unstable. But now I remember that something that happened to me once is that I went to school when I was in ninth grade, I think. Um, and I assumed that we had classes, so I went with the uniform. And when I entered the school, everybody was wearing uh, casual clothes. Nobody was wearing uniforms. Nobody had notebooks. Nobody had backpacks because there was a celebration. And I had two options, right? Or to stay there or to run away or even though it was a shame, I could come back, but just changing my clothes. So I felt ashamed for a moment and my classmates told me, go ahead, you're, you're, you live near here so you can go and change your clothes and leave your stuff at home. So that's what happened to me um, a long time ago in 2002. That was 2002. So that was a little anecdote. And that happens when you don't go to class one day and it's an important day. And then surprise, surprise, no classes today, no uniform. So that's a funny anecdote that happened to me uh, when I was in ninth grade and that was in La Union. Uh, I was studying there at that time. Okay, so that's what you're going to do, okay? Uh, share a little funny anecdote, but in English, right? Give some details. And that's it, okay? Ready, set, and go. Wait a second, I'm going to check if all the breakout rooms are complete. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. Okay, so I'm just going to make some modifications here. A second, I'm checking that everybody is in the in a breakout room. Perfect. So I'm going to give you six minutes because it's going to be approximately three or maximum four people. So five to six minutes maximum, and then we come back, okay, to complete the exercises that I was telling you and to practice the reading. Okay, here we go. Okay, you can join the breakout room now. You got the invitation or not? Let me check, one, two, three. Mariela, you go to the breakout room number three. One, two, three, four. 
I don't remember. Okay. Um, only one time that uh, we have to enter to class at uh, 2 p.m. But uh, I go there and in the same time that we usually uh, have the classes. And that's only the, but if this is not funny, <laughs> I don't know. Um, no. Tell another one. One day we were going to buy hamburgers and we were <laughs> and we were uh drive through to McDonald's in Mc in McDonald's and my husband asked me if what which hamburger I, I wanted, right? So I said <laughs> Whopper and I don't know why, but he just say to the to the person to to, to the yeah, to the person that was asking us, and they said, Okay, two whoppers, please. <laughs> and the person in the McDonald's was, um, Sorry, but whopper is not from our house. <laughs> you can just uh, another one from the list that it's that they have outside the, the, the McDonald's. Oh, right. I was very angry and I was laughing a lot. <laughs> At home, but there was there was a a part in the in the row or in the wait, uh, quite darkness, and I stopped I stopped in a in a top and I fell down. So the mid lobe fell down too. I was uh, worried in that moment because my mother will be mad at me and I decide to pick pick them up and clean them and in that way I I I give the meat love uh, a little a little dirty but I didn't say it anything anything in that moment I after Five years, uh, uh, after five years, I remember I I told them about that experience that I have, and she 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 was angry because I didn't say anything in the moment, and they ate the the meat loaf with with uh, soil. I tried to clean them, but they was a little arenosos, I think. Dusty. Dusty. They was a little they dusted. Were, uh -huh. Yes, they were a, a little dusted. Um, I really tired, and I take the bus. The first, I normally I always take the number the first, the bus the route number one. Do you know that this route? Yeah, and. <coughs> And I sleep, I sleep it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And you sleep the on the bus? Yes. Normally. Okay, got it. Yeah. And, <laughs> and the bus passes the the station that I have to get down. Get off. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I continue on the bus. And when I wake up, uh, the bus. Uh, is coming back because turn to back to the to the to the El Ricaldone. <laughs> e, e, and when I wake up, I I I see the same place that I passed before. Yeah, and I really exactly. Well, it was in September. I remember mm -hmm. it was for those days. For these days, sorry, and. Um... I wore a long shirt, a long traditional uh, dress. dress. Uh -huh. I was dancing, very happy. I remember it was Las Comaleras. Ah, I know. Uh -huh. I, mm -hmm. I, I was in the Comal, uh, yeah. what's on my head, and I were dancing. 
But suddenly, I don't know how my legs uh, <laughs> get. <laughs> I don't know how do you how can I express that? Se me enredaron. You're what? Se me Se me enredaron los pies con el vestido. Se me enredó. Oh, okay. So oh. your 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 dress got uh, tangled with your legs. Exactly. Tangled. tangled with, yes. Tangled with your legs. Okay. And I it. and I fall down the comal. You broke. dropped. You dropped. Mm -hmm. You dropped the comal dropped. and it broke. Oh, look at exactly. that cute cat. <laughs> it, it's my new. It's my new. Uh, Child, my new, <laughs> my new pet. Your new baby. My new baby. <laughs> I, 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 I come in or I came to my home. I returned to my home a few minutes ago because uh, he traveled from Chalatenango. Oh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> my little baby. <laughs> And he's afraid because I have a dog. Yeah. Okay. It, uh, it was all about my funny situation that one of the, maybe, well, I don't know the exact number, but that I remember it was very funny and obviously it was a, a un penoso momento. An embarrassing moment. An embarrassing moment. Um, okay. Exactly. That's it. Thank you. What about you, Laura? Um, I remember a funny moment uh, I had recently in <laughs> in in the class in the previous group the cl of class. Oh, really? I say I'm fine, teacher. <laughs> I'm still saying <laughs> present or I am here. I am really, I was really very tired this, this day. <laughs> and was it wrong? <laughs> Do you remember, um, teacher? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that. Now that you mention it, I remember. It was funny, yeah. yeah it was Ka funny. Karen, uh, all days remember me. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> So you receive you receive bullying from Karen. Yes. <laughs> yes. This Hi. is my moment. <laughs> okay. Um, very good. Okay, the and time is up, I think. Did you finish? Okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Great. So I'll see you in a moment. my story. <laughs> I wish I, I had listened to all of the stories, but I couldn't, okay? I listened to some only. Now we're going to move on and um, yeah, you can get distracted with the cute cat that Jackie has now. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go on. We're not going to share too much about the, the, the stories or the anecdotes, but, I'm sorry. I, but I hope, I, yeah, it was, uh not rated for 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 adults now uh but i hope that you liked uh the activity okay sharing a little bit about those moments and that you have a little bit of fun now speaking of fun uh i am going to uh tell you a couple of jokes you know that telling jokes is not my one of my skills right however i try to, to share something with with students so the the first one that i will that i will share with you is uh, about um, a husband and a wife the wife says had your lunch the husband had your lunch i am asking you i am asking you you copying me you copying me let's go shopping yes i had my lunch <laughs> 
So, um, the next they one. They hate that. Yeah, I know, I know. But not everybody, not everybody, I suppose. I hate yeah. that too. I hate that too. <laughs> okay, now, uh, a man is talking to God, right? So the man um, says, God, uh, how long is a million years? To me, it's about a minute, God said. Then the man asked, and how much is a million dollars? To me, it's just a penny. So the man said, God, may I have a penny? And God said, sure, wait a minute. And that was God playing a joke on a human. <laughs> Now we're going to continue with the last one. Okay, so uh, this one is uh, it's really funny. Uh, it's for for all it's just for for social networks. So a man tells his doctor, "Doctor, please help me. I'm addicted to Twitter." And the doctor said, "I'm so sorry, but I don't follow you." Okay. <laughs> so in that case, um, when you that's a double meaning, right? An ambiguous message because yeah, yeah, following yeah, yeah. I don't follow you. You can say that in, in English, for example. I'm sorry, I don't follow you. It's like I don't understand what you're saying. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. So I don't follow you. But also following social networks is mm -hmm. uh, uh huh. And if you wanna in Spanish, I I have heard that. Uh huh. I'm not following you. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So if I ask you a question, for example, do you follow me or are you following me? And you are like, mm, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't understand what you're, what we're going to do or what you're saying. Okay, and if you want a little joke for children, um, what do you call a train carrying bubble gum? What do you call a train that is carrying bubble gum? I don't know. A uh, shoe shoe train. Shoe. <laughs> Shoe. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> okay, so you shoe, right? You um, masticate, right? So shoe. Um, okay, so that's it. Now we're going to uh, continue with the fun Friday, but it's time to work, right? Uh, and get a little bit more serious. Yesterday you had a you had a reading right to complete. Uh, in yesterday's class, we also had the opportunity to to work, okay, to work a little bit more on on the vocabulary. We you were sharing uh, about your 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 work in teams, right? We had some vocabulary activities for the different, uh, let's say, assembled parts of a bicycle. We had the the game, right? The trivia. So, um, and we had the at the end, right? The assignment for today. We had a discussion about uh, the the cost of a product, right? If you ever analyze that, or the expenses, right? That people have to create a product. So, here is the reading that you um, completed by yourself. You read at home, so. You are experts now. And after the reading, you answer some questions. I want to believe that. So the first question was, Diana. What are the most important factors to consider when setting a price for a product? Okay, what is the answer to that question, uh, Rolando? um the 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 price of the 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 row the raw materials mater uh, yeah uh, mm -hmm. the price for the another uh, um uh to the comp comp competent competencia competent competitors competitors yeah mm -hmm. and Probably. and uh, when you have all try to 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 select 
a price similar and obtain gains. Obtain profits. Yeah, profit. Okay, yeah. another another word that you can use for um, profits. Do you know another word to say ganancias? No. Anybody? No. Gain. Uh, no. Nope. And profit. No. Yes. Gain and loss and profit is just the margin, like after taxes. Mm hmm. Yes. Earning profits or earnings, right? That would be also um, ganancias. Okay, excellent. Thank in you. In the so company much. we manage in the account that gain or loss. Gains or loss. Yes. And okay. profits has a different meaning in account. Okay, so you use gains. Yeah, loss. Somebody asked me about that yesterday. Uh, how do you say perdida, right? When you're talking about that like, you lose money. So it's loss. Mm -hmm. And I was telling that person that, for example, when somebody dies, you, it's also a loss. So you can say, I'm sorry for your loss, right? Um, so a loss can be used in, in, in different contexts. Now, uh, Question number two, Jennifer, can you please read it? Yes, teacher. What are some examples of fixed costs? Okay, Roxana, what is what is the answer for that question? And okay. well, actually, when when you're setting the the let's say uh, pricing a product, when you're setting the price of a product, uh, if you notice in the reading, there are the three, the three points that you have to consider are the cost of production, the market demand for a product or service, and the markup, right, of a product. So those are some things that you have to consider. Um, now, let's continue. Uh, that is the desire, right, markup for the product. So Jennifer, uh, read the question. Roxana, what is the, the answer? Sorry. Okay, um, for example, it could be rent uh, the office or the manufacturing space. Just that. Okay, right. yeah, the rent, exactly, that you're paying, right, for the, for the place. Uh, the manufacturing, okay, costs. Materials of Materials. the Materials, uh-huh, correct. Uh -huh. The labor of the employees, maybe, or no? The labor, yeah, the labor. You have to pay a salary. I mean, like, you cannot say, okay, this month we're not going to pay uh, the teacher, so we can save some money, right? So it's it's not possible, right? So the, the salaries are included there. Okay, so excellent. It's like the, the bills. You have to pay for the bills, for water, for electricity, for internet. So those are fixed costs. Now... We're going to continue with the question number four. Um, let's see. Jackie, can you please read the question four? Number three is the question. Okay. Three, sorry, sorry. Uh, number three. four. Yeah, three. Uh, three. Yeah. <clears throat> what are examples of variable costs? Okay. Who is going to answer that question? Who is going to be a volunteer? Francisco, thank you. Labor and comes. Wait a second, yeah. We got Francisco. Um, Fisher? Uh -huh. um, in my opinion, I, I think that is too similar, but the variability to the price for the maybe the, the gas. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. For example, when we have the the start the, the when when the start the, the, the pandemic, the price is very low. It was low. Uh -huh. Now uh -huh. it's, it's high. Low. Uh -huh. so, Actually, yeah. 
transportation, right? We can include that. Uh, materials, it depending on the company, right? For example, because the, the prices can change. Uh, so that is also um, a variable. Because for example, imagine if you work in construction, before the pandemic, buying, a, let's say a, a block, right, of concrete was about, I don't know, 70 cents, let's mm -hmm. say 75 cents. And the, in the last, I mean, at, at, in the middle of this year uh, or at the beginning of this year, it was almost $1 or more than $1, just yeah. one block. That's true. So, yes. so mm -hmm. everything went up, right? So it was really hard to think about construction. Mm -hmm. So it's a variable cost. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Francisco. We continue with the question number four now. Uh, Beatriz, can you please help us read? Okay. And uh, Juan Jose, help us with the answer, please. Okay. What variables influence to determine- Number four, four. Okay. How does market demand affect the pricing of your product? Excellent. <clears throat> um, as a price fall, demand rises and as price or price, demand fall. Exactly. Okay. So uh, that is the relation, right? It goes up and down like a, like a seesaw, right? Like subibaja, right? So they are interconnected. Okay. Excellent. So thank you so much, uh, Juan Jose. We go with the question number five. Laura, can you help us to read question number five? Laura, are you there? Janari? Mariela. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. So, Yanari, uh, please read the question and Mariela, give us the answer. Okay. Yanari? I lost for a little time uh, connection to teacher. Oh, okay, okay. So, just help us to read the question. Number five. Hmm. I think, yeah, it's a connection problem. So um, let me see who's missing, who's missing participating, Blanca? Yes. Okay. I'm going read to read the, the, read the, the question, question, right? Five. Yes. Si vous plaît, mademoiselle. Okay. What? Okay. I don't know. What, to, what, how vari to vari what variables? Variables? Variables. Variables. What uh -huh. variables influence to determine to determine 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 determine, determine the markup percentage percentage the markup percentage percentage, percentage. that's percentage. correct percentage. percentage. Sorry, I I'm going to read. Uh, you want to say to it again? Yeah, try it time. again, please. Yeah. What variables influence to determ determine Determine the markup, determine percentage. The markup percentage. Okay. So I'm going to the uh, use the annotation here so you know exactly in which uh, syllable you're going to uh, stress the word, right? So, for example, in this case, percentage, percent, percentage. percentage. So it's, it's in the middle, right? Percentage. Uh, determine the term. And the pronunciation percentage. here is min, determine. Okay, determine, uh, influence is at the beginning. The stress is in, influence. Variables is at the beginning, yes. variables, okay? So uh, uh, mark up, mark up, okay, is at the end. What variables are influenced to determine the markup percentage? Mark percentage? What variables influence to determine the markup percentage? Okay, answer. Mariela? Mm, the market percentage is determined by the amount of the planning profit, the type of the product or service you, um, the service, the product or service, mm -hmm. and how rapidly the product sells and the amount of service performed by the seller. Performed by the seller. Okay, excellent. So yes, that's something that you can find at the end of the reading, right? 
Now let's go back to the reading uh, because as I told you yesterday, something that we're going to do is to practice reading out loud, okay? Reading out loud. So I'm going to clear all the drawings and what we're going to do in the breakout rooms is very, very simple, okay? You are going to be in groups of three and every person is going to choose one of the three options. The first option is you read the paragraph uh, number one, okay? The second option, you read paragraph two. And the third option is you read the introduction plus the last paragraph. So uh, that would be the, the distribution, right? So this is, the first one, this is the second one, this is the third one, I mean, no, first, yeah, first is this one and this one right here. So this is the same one, the same person, okay? The second one would be this one and the third one will be this one right here, okay? So that's what you're going to do. You can take a screenshot if you want. And uh, in the breakout rooms, you decide which one you're going to read. Okay, you're going to read it out loud. Um, just in case, okay, you don't remember too much about yesterday's pronunciation when I read this because I just read it once. You can try to- sure, But it's a mark, it's a blank space in there and it's covered. Yeah, thank you. What? Okay, um, now, uh, so there are three important factors businesses need to consider when pricing a product. The cost of production, the market demand for the product, and the desired markup, markup for, by the business. The desired markup for, by the business. The cost of production. Fixed and variable costs determine the selling price of a business firm's product. Fixed costs include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your sales volume like labor and materials. In pricing your product, first determine how much of your fixed and variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. Although it may be a difficult calculation, a simple formula to help you is to add your total fixed costs to your total variable costs. Then you divide the total by your estimated total sales. You will have then your cost of production per unit. Now you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Okay, costs, that's the plural, right? Costs. So it's like a T in the middle and then, right? Uh, let the air flow, okay? Let the air out. Market demand for a product or service. Market demand for a product or service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. The law of demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As, fall, as prices fall, demand rises. And as prices rise, demand falls. Demand for your product is just as important to consider when setting a price as the costs of production. There is usually a positive or direct, you can say direct if you prefer that, relationship between consumer income and demand. As a consumer's income goes up, so does demand for a product. Determining the markup of a product, regardless of the type of small business, markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price. The markup percentage is determined by the amount of your planned profit, the type of the product or service you are selling, how rapidly the product sells, 
and the amount of service performed by the seller. That's it. In this case, you felt that it was really long because I read the whole thing, but you are going to divide it, right? One, two, and three. So uh, help each other, help each other, right? So at the end of the, of every inter intervention, right? Every participation, you can comment like, okay, so one word that maybe you have to pronounce differently is, um, let's suppose that you mentioned um, the person that was reading said, Aldo, and then you say, uh, this, the teacher said that is although. Ah, okay, good. So if you want, right, you can help each other, we give some feedback. If not, that's okay. The most important thing is that you practice and you try. Remember that trying and making mistakes is the way that people learn, right? Only geniuses um, learn quickly without making mistakes, right? Like Albert Einstein or other people that are unique in the world, right? Um, but we don't have that gift, right? To learn everything the first time and that's it. I will never forget it. No, we need to practice. We need to pay attention. We need to repeat. We need to study, right? To learn and remember. Um, and we need to make mistakes. Okay, trial and error, repetition, making mistakes, correcting them, and you go like that, right? So it's like a baby, right? When it's trying to walk, it's going to fall down many times, but it's going to do it because it's persistent, right? It's perseverant. Now, let's go on. Um, I am going to create the breakout rooms. I don't know if you have questions about the vocabulary. Yes, no. We don't know. Yes, uh, who is the correct pronunciation for the... What is the, the correct the, pronunciation for? For the word that, that you select. At all. Ah. Our, although. 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 Yeah. Although. 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 Uh, correct. Okay. Although. Okay. Beatriz, are you there? Yes. Mariela? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Uh, Brenda, Diana. You don't say my name, teacher. Blanca, did I, I didn't say your name. Okay, Blanca. Yeah. I'm here. <laughs> Diana, yes, here. Diana too, okay, Diego is not here. Flor? I'm here. Francisco, are you home or you're driving? No, I'm driving. Okay, be careful, please. Okay, Francisco, Freddy. Present teacher. Freddy is not here today. I don't know what happened, maybe he's sick. I'm here right yeah. now. You're here? Okay. Why didn't you say hello, Freddy? I, I just barely got connected like around 10 minutes. Really? Yeah, oh, when, okay. when, you started, when you started to reading read the conversation. Okay, got it. The, the, the reading, got it. Perfect. So welcome. Laura? Jackie? I'm here. Harvin? Jennifer. I am here, but I'm still working. Okay, still working. Got it. I'm here, teacher Jennifer. Juan Jose. I'm here. Gustavo. I suppose Miguel is. I'm here. The okay, hello. I'm here, uh, teacher. You excellent. Hear me? Yes, I hear you, Gustavo. You hear me? I'm here. Okay. Who spoke? I'm here. Wait, Rolando. I'm. I'm. I was checking first that uh, Miguel wasn't here and Fabio was not here. So Rolando is here. What about Yanari? I always here. Aha! Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Roxana. Wow. She's on fire. Okay. So mm -hmm. let's go on and. This girl is on fire. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Who's, who sings that song? I think it's Alicia Keys, right? Harry Perry, I think. 
She... Can you refer me? No, it's Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's my friend. Now, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, and three. Oh, here we have four people. Okay, Flor is driving, so we don't count Flor. So Jennifer, Diana, Mariela, okay. Harvin is working, so Juan Jose, Rolando, Yanari, good. Francisco, Gustavo is working. Flor is maybe dancing. Maybe. Uh, Jackie yes, and Laura. Of course. So I'm going to open the breakout rooms right now. You have a maximum five minutes, guys. So try to focus, right? This divide the, the reading and start doing it. Okay. Ready, set, and go. Okay, Freddy's, I am going to send you to the breakout room. Number five, I think. Or let's do something, Freddy's. I'm going to send you to the breakout room number one so you can read the text and I'm going to listen to you. Okay. Okay, because it will be hard to divide the, the, the text in four people. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I am I am going to give you a, a minute so that you can take a look at the text and in the meantime I'm going to check that everybody's working. Oh, okay. Okay. Calculation. A simple formula to help you is to add your total fixed cost to your total variable cost. Then you divide the total. Look for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Okay. I just have one comment in the word items if you were saying items and it's items this this word items yes it's items <laughs> okay and my turn right so market demand for for a product or service market demand for a product or service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product the law of demand is that there is an inverse relation between demand and price. As prices fall, demand, is, demand rises, and as prices rise, demand falls. Demand for your product is just an important to consider when say you will you will say you you will have then your cost of production per unit. Okay, uh, now you have to sell your product. Markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price. The marker percentage is determined by the amount of price. The demand falls. The demand for your product is just, a, is just as important to consider when setting a price as the cost of production. There is usually a positive or direct. Okay, Freddie, your turn. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. There are three important factors business that business need to consider when pricing a product. The cost of production, the market demand for the product and the desired markup by the business. The cost of production, fixed and variable cost determine the selling price of a business firm product. Fixed cost includes items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space, 
Variable cost includes items that change with your sales volumes, like labor and materials. In pricing your product, first determine how much you fix, you fix and variable cost goes into producing each unit of your product. Although it might be a difficult calculation, a simple formula to help you is to add your total fixed cost to your Estimate total sales you will have then your cost of production per unit. Now you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Market demand. Yeah, I have got the microphone on, right? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Market demand for the product or service is the second factor that business owners should consider when pricing a product. The law of demand is that there's an inverse relationship between demands and price. As price falls, demands rises, and as price rises, demands falls. Demands for your product is just, is just as important to consider when setting a price as the cost of production. There's usually a positive or direct relationship between consumers' in income and demands. As a consumer's income goes up, so does the demands for a product. Determine the, the markup of a product. Regardless of a type of small business, markup is the amount, the amount you add to the cost of your product. To determine the selling price, the markup percentage is determined by the amount of your planned profit. The type of product or yeah, yeah. The type of product or service you are selling. How rapidly, how rapidly the product sells and the amount of service performed by the seller. Okay, performed by the seller performed by the seller. Okay, yeah. overall, you did a really, really good job, Freddy's. Um, so congratulations. And I think it's time for us to go back to the main room. See you there. Okay, thank you. All right, so we're back. Uh, did everybody participate in the breakout rooms? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay, did everybody finish? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. One time, yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so that's that's what I wanted, okay? That's what I needed to, to know. Now we're going to move on to the next part of the class and that is yes what's next go home yeah oh, go to bed. <laughs> uh, don't go home the because spelling, the spelling competition <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay so yes, we have this spelling uh, finals, right? Um, in this case, I am going to uh, share the screen just for a moment. Okay, so you can see the words for the last time, right? Everybody can see them. Okay, so the words are uh, strength, right? In plural, strengths. Then we have lunch, lunch, uh, brainstorming, weaknesses, branch, purchase, product line, business, just business, right? Uh, marketing, target audience, positioning, manufacturing, prototype, development, opportunities, threats, disadvantages, competitor, targeted, random, sample, furthermore, or furthermore, uh, addition, a specificity, uh, provide, appropriate, regardless, 
Titan, conveyor, machinery, assembly, accurate, and quality. So uh, that's, that's the list and these are the finalists. So we go in this order, right? First Beatriz, then Diana, after Diana, Floor, I'm not sure if Floor is still driving, uh, Freddy's and Yanari. okay? So we go by rounds, okay? We're going to have three rounds. If we don't have a, a clear uh, winner, we're going to go with an extra round or two extra rounds until we have the top three out of the five. Because in real competitions, it's usually like that, right? Of course, everybody's a winner and you five already made it to the final, so that's okay. That's a big step. Now, uh, I'm going to move on and uh, the prize, okay, Emily is asking me about the prizes. For the first three people, uh, there's going to be a little set of virtual prizes, okay, that you're going to be getting this weekend, okay, directly to your WhatsApp. So that is related to English, right? Something that can be useful for you to continue learning or practicing or I don't know. So that's the prize, okay? So the first three people will get it as a recognition for the extra effort, right? On going to these finals because we know that you have to work as everybody else. And besides that, you have to study this, this vocabulary. So it's more complicated. So the only requirement for this is have your camera on, have your microphone ready, and you cannot take more than five minutes, I mean, five minutes, five seconds to spell the word, okay? Uh, because of the virtuality, right? You have to start spelling the word after three seconds, okay? If in five seconds you haven't started, that means that you don't remember the word or how to spell it, and we give the chance to the next person, okay, with a new word. Um, so you have to be honest as any responsible adults, right? Not looking at the list of vocabulary and, um, basically that's it. If you didn't hear the word well because of connection issues, I can repeat it one time. Okay. So you can tell me, teacher, can you say it again, please? So I will say it quickly and then you start spelling it. Right. And that's it. In the end, the winner is the person with more points after the three rounds are over. So um, do you think three rounds is okay for you or we do four rounds? Oh, three, please. Three is okay. Okay, perfect. Let's start with the first volunteer. Please, a round of applause to motivate the finalists or you can share them up with, with, with that tara. What? Okay, I am going to select the words randomly, okay? I'm going to select the words randomly so that you don't know what number I'm saying, okay? Ain't nobody selecting, just me. I promise that I will do it as randomly and quickly as possible. So I'm not going to be analyzing, mm, I'm going to give this word to Diana. No, it's going to be the first word that comes to my mind from the list. Ready? Set and... Oh my God. Let's go, Beatriz. <laughs> How do you spell the word machinery? M A C H I N E R Y. Correct. Okay, class for her. Diana, next word. Oh. The word for you is competitor. C O M. P, T, I'm sorry, C, O, M, P, E, T, I, T, O, R. Correct. There you go. Competitor is correct. I didn't Teacher. make a correction. Nobody gave a correction. So you corrected yourself. That is allowed. Okay. Teacher, Hello? I need drive. I need drive. Uh, if you want, I can make the... Uh, the test right now because I need drive again.
No, you don't have a test. Don't worry. Uh, we are, okay. We are just with the finals uh, right now. Oh. So they are competing versus each other. So you just listen oh. to them. Okay. You can cheer okay. them up with some claps, with some music. No, just kidding. So um, you can send them emojis. So <laughs> here we go. Floor, are you there? She's dancing. Maybe in the car, <laughs> right? Of course, not here because she's driving. She's getting home. So unfortunately, she won't be able to do it. Uh, if she makes it on time to get home before we finish the three rounds, we can give her the three words in a row and she can spell them, right? So let's go with Freddy's. How do you spell the word weaknesses? Weaknesses. W H witnesses wh no, i forgot about it i didn't study you didn't study that one okay so freddy's no worries we still have two rounds to go janari quickly microphone on and the word is strengths which one teacher i'm sorry i can hear you strengths 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 yeah strengths strengths S T R E N D S. Oh, that was close, but the last ones, the last <laughs> letters now. Okay, nice try. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Everybody, thank you. Round two, fight. So, uh, Beatriz, the word for you is opportunities. O double P. O R T U N I T I E S. Correct. Okay, Diana. The word for you is regardless. R E G E R uh, D L E double S. Yes, that's right. Okay, Freddy's. How do you spell the word? Okay, positioning. P e O. S I T I O N I N G. Yes, you're right. Okay, let's go, <clears throat> Janari. How do you spell the word? How do you spell the word purchase? Which one? Purchase. Purchase. Yes. Uh, P U R. C H A A S E. Yes, that's correct. Thank you so much. Okay, class for them. Will they finish with the round two? Round three, final round. Beatriz, how do you spell the word furthermore? F U R D H E R M O R E. Yes, that's right. Diana, the word for you is. Okay, product line. Product line. Yep. P O, no, P R O D U C T space L. I <laughs> Yes, that's right. Okay, Freddy's. How do you spell the word targeted? Targeted. Just targeted. Targeted. Yeah, in the past. T A R G E T E D. Yes, that's correct. Yanari. Yes, sir. The last word 
and we go to celebrate. Let's see, the word for you is manufacturing. Manufacturing, M A N U F A C T U R I N G. I N G. That's right. So now the round three is over. Congratulations to the four of them. Okay. Uh, Personally, unfortunately, uh, floor is not available right now. So um, now we have to go for the third place. So Freddy's and Yanaris, we go for an extra round with you two. Okay, no, okay. The word for you, Freddy, is development. D E B E. L O P M E N T. N T. Okay, there you go. That's correct. Uh, Yanari. Mm -hmm. Okay, camera on. Yes, teacher. Camera on. I don't know. Okay. Um, no, I cannot. Now I can see you. Yes, perfect. Okay. So, how do you spell the word specificity? Specificity. Yeah. S. E E C I F I C I T Y T Y <laughs> yes that's correct okay so <laughs> class for both of them okay so they got it and uh the final chance right to get a third place Let's give it to you, Nari. No, let's. I, I was going to ask. I was going to ask the rest of the audience. So, do you think that the four of, I mean, the the two of them deserve the third place? Yes or no? Yes. So, it's, there's no need, right, to continue asking words. Okay. Now we know that they were. I mean, they they were doing it really well. And uh. DJ. Hello. Did you see a movie like spell that that word that word is like a child? Oh yeah, there is a movie, but I didn't com watch it completely. It's really good. Yes, really yeah, good. Yeah, you can watch that movie. It's really good. So uh, in this case, we are going to do the following order, right? Or pricing. So in the first place, because she said she spelled all the words without hesitating or taking too much time, that will be Beatriz. The score is the same as Diana, okay? So, but as we have to give a, a number, right? So first place, uh, share with Diana, that would be the second one. And then we have Freddy's and Yanaris. And as Freddy says, ladies first. So Yanari and Freddy got the third one. Good. So congratulations. That was really good. And we're ready to go on. So congrats guys. That was really, really good. Now we're going to continue with the activities um, so for today uh, the next point that we have to cover has to do with vocabulary okay so i have a question well a couple of questions for you have you ever heard the term uh risk assessment risk assessment yes teacher yes jennifer yes beatriz i suppose yes. that yeah okay yes. i'm gonna say two okay so what is the what is the meaning of that risk assessment es como evaluación de riesgo. okay the meaning evaluación de riesgo. that's a translation but what is the meaning Ah, well, for example, when the company evaluates the risk that are exposed to risk like of what? Operation, operational risk, uh -huh. um, riesgo reputacional. I know the terms, but in Spanish. Reputational, uh -huh. risk. 
Yes, and um, I just remember those two. This, this two, yes. Okay, um, Juan Jose or uh, Beatriz, you would you like to add something else to what Jennifer just mentioned? It's something like. It's similar like Jennifer said. Uh -huh. In the bank, for example, every year we we make a evaluation about that, especially with laundering. Money laundering. Money laundering. Yeah. That's a big problem. It's, a, it's, it's an obligation to do to do the test. And we have a a uh, a minimum grade that you you are going to to get. If you uh, don't don't approve the exam or, or the uh, test, uh, the company asks you about human human resources. Really? Yes. Okay, that's serious. That's something serious. Okay, excellent. Uh, Juan Jose? Yes, uh, for example, uh, when I work, um, we did uh, frequently um, mm -hmm. SWOT, for example, for determining the strange uh, opportunity, witness, and uh, treat. And after uh, evaluate uh, the possible risk, um for example for the for the teacher uh, for the financial area for the um, administration uh -huh. um, all all the areas uh, when I work and uh, put in a format uh -huh. uh, for to find the the uh, weight for make a result or make a, um, a one form to um, confront that, I don't know. Confront. Confront. To confront the risk for a new solution, for example. Okay. Excellent. We have, we have, we have for example, uh, ISO, uh, the norm, uh, the load. Uh-huh, the ISO. Load, mm -hmm. ISO um for the to work in that okay got it thank you so much for sharing and freddy's share one definition here the overall process of identifying all the risks to and from an activity and assessing the potential impact of each risk okay as you could hear with the experience that uh your classmates have in this case uh jennifer beatriz and juan jose share with us three different points of view, right? The technical ones, uh, Jennifer was explaining that, then Beatriz about the financial aspect, and then Juan Jose also with the experience at the university, right? So it's different aspects, not only money, but also education um, and uh, the process, right? And the process. So, excellent. Now we're going to move on and I'm going to share the screen with you from the manual. It's not this one, not this one either. Make sure that the microphones are off, guys. Now, bef um, for next week, I want before I forget, I want to tell you that we're going to do something extra, okay, from the activities from the book or from the manual. And that is that for due uh, Tuesday, as you remember, on Tuesday is the Talking Tuesday, right? So um, what we're going to do is to, what you are going to do is to prepare a little speech, right? A little speech that lasts approximately two minutes, okay? Between one minute and a half to two minutes, that's okay. If you can speak a little bit more, that's perfect. So I need you to prepare a little speech, okay? Where you talk about something, okay? Talk about something. Uh, a topic that you like that you consider can be relevant for example um i don't know it can be about tips how to control your finances for example or your financial situation 
Uh, if you know, I mean, it can be about your area of expertise, about what you study or about the place where you, about the area where you work. So if you want to share something that can be very educational, that's okay, very instructive, right? Something that can be useful in their life or just a topic that you feel interested in. I don't know if you can talk about uh, the environment, about global warming, about possible solutions for the for any problem that, that there is going on around the world, right? So that's what you're going to do. And it's, we're going to do it on Tuesday. So for this, as we don't have enough time to do it on, I mean, one by one, uh, let's say on one class, we're going to divide it, okay? So some volunteers can do it on Monday. That is the motivation Monday. And the other part of the, of the class, We'll do it on Tuesday. But what I want is that everybody can listen to all the speeches, right? So for that reason, we're going to do that dynamic. We're going to divide it. I don't know if there are any volunteers who would like to do it on, on Monday. On Monday, it can be a, a reduced number of volunteers, maybe seven volunteers or eight volunteers, and the rest can be on uh, Tuesday. So. Who would like to uh, share the speech on? I on want Monday? to share the speech on Monday because uh, I don't want in Tuesday. <laughs> okay, you want on Monday because you don't want Tuesday. That's a good explanation. Yeah, it's better. It's better being the first yeah. than the last. <laughs> Sometimes yes, it's better. Uh, Unless you offer yourself for a sacrifice, right? That's not good to be the first one. Like the Hunger Games. Now, uh, Blanca, I'm just kidding. Blanca, who else? <laughs> Diana. Diana. Diana Bross. Who else? Beatrice. Okay, excellent. I am going to present my topic too. If you're wondering, like, what about Rolando, Emilio? Emilio Rolando to says speech too. he wants to. <laughs> okay, Rolando. Thank you. Okay. He looks, he looks so happy <laughs> because of that. Yeah, he is so happy because of that. He loves to volunteer. So, um, I have five, well, four people right now. Blanca, Diana, Beatriz, and Rolando. Anybody else who can say the mini speech on, on Monday? <laughs> floor, floor floor two, floor two. Floor, she, she, she told you, right? That she wants to do it on, on Monday. Okay, mm -hmm. thank Peter, you. About no, on the chat. Yeah, she, write, she writes on the chat. Oh, she wrote in the chat. Okay, I wait, I cannot, about... I cannot see the, the, the chat right now. Now I can. Okay, so floor. Teacher, hello. How much time? Uh, two minutes maximum, a uh, minimum one minute and a half. Okay. okay. Uh, of course, if you speak thirty seconds more than two, that's okay. Sing Not a, a problem. <laughs> uh, <laughs> teacher, only two, only two minutes. Uh, it can be two minutes and a half maximum because of the time that we have right for the class. Um. Yeah. But if you tell me, um, teacher, my top, you send me a message, right? Teacher, my topic is this, it's really important. And I want to share it with my classmates. And can I speak for three minutes? Maybe we can make an exception, right? Because it's something that it will be beneficial for everybody. So it is possible to make exceptions, okay? And in that exception, that would be three minutes, okay? But you can I contact think, me if you want to do that. Uh, the okay. topic, uh, any topic? Yep, any topic. Any topic. Mm -hmm. Just just trying to avoid right, very controversial or topics that can be a little bit delicate for some people. Like, um, I don't know, speaking of religion, when uh, like when you're very specific about some points in religion, maybe some people don't feel so well about that, so, so comfortable. So, but it can be any other topic, right? Um, of course, if you say like the benefits of believing in God, that can be that can be good because it's a general topic. You are not. Can, 
Teacher, can I use a, a, a video like compliment? Uh, uh, you can share the link on the chat, but we cannot show the video. So yeah, you but can share if the I link, like, uh, but, okay, so take a look at the video when you have time, right? It's a it's uh, possible. Or what you could do also is maybe uh, during the day you can share the link through the WhatsApp group, so they can watch the video and then. Okay, guys, please watch this video because I'm going to talk to you about that. Okay, uh, so you can, you can do that. Yeah, because I thinking I think to use the video for my my speech. Yeah, in the in the in the same time the video is playing, I will talk about the video. Yeah, it's so. not it's not possible uh -huh, because of the copyrights and YouTube policies and rules. Yeah. Yeah. It, it... Okay. okay. So you can share the video. So people familiarize with it, and then you you so you speak about it. Mm -hmm. So they know what you're talking about. Uh -huh. Teacher, okay. but if the video is for is from Rolando? Yeah, if if from my cat, for example, it's not possible. Ah, okay. If it's video, not a video. It's is not. It's your own video. Yes, if it is. It's not a, a video public. That you, that you made. Uh huh. Yeah, if for example, video, you made yes. If I want to talk how to make a newspaper, I can show the process, but this is the it's video I take. Video. Uh -huh. Yeah, I take exactly. the I take the video. If you don't have problems with your with your company, that's okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. And then we will see Rolando <laughs> in prison, right? Okay. No, 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 no problem. <laughs> okay, so yes, in that case, it's possible. Excellent. So thank you so much. We have five volunteers for Monday, then the rest will be on Tuesday. Excellent. We're ready to go. And now let's, well, you see the screen right now? Yes or no? Yep, there's a conversation. So we have uh, two managers discussing about the risk and hazards. Okay, hazards, maybe it's a new word for you. Hazard and risk are synonyms, right? So a hazard is something dangerous, right? Something that can be dangerous. Uh, at different locations in their company, read the conversations and take turns practicing. Okay, so this time we're going to do it in a different way. I'm not going to tell you what the pronunciation is. I am not going to tell you the conversation. So I just need two volunteers to read the conversation with no interruptions, just the way that you think it is. And then I am going to read it completely for you to come to contrast and pay attention to some details. Okay, so Flor is in the house and she wants to participate. Somebody else, Juan Jose. Okay, Flor and Juan Jose. So Flor, you are Marcos. Juan Jose, you are Josue. Ready, set, and go. Okay, let me check if the list of hazard and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shock for electric barn, yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? We're ready. Um, Jennifer, uh, oh, excuse me, Flora. No. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's not only Rolando. Okay. Like <laughs> yes. Um, we're ready, Flor. Now I will work on the plan for reporting hazard and incident. Okay. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I work on establishing the incident probability, the potent, the potent, potential severity, risk value, and risk value. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. All right, okay, a round of applause for them, please, some reactions. That was really, really good. So I'm going to use a different reaction here. I will use this, really good. Now, um, okay, so the conversation goes like this. Let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcus. Now, I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. 
Great, I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made so much progress on that. All right, then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. So now I need two more volunteers. Remember that you, you, you can change the name, right? Instead of saying Marcos, you say the name of your classmates or your classmates name. So we have Diana and who else? Me teacher. Me teacher. Teacher. Je who? Jennifer. Jennifer, okay. So uh, Diana, you are Marcus and uh, yeah. Diana, uh, Jennifer, you are Josue. Yeah, got it? Okay. Good. Hmm? So, uh, let me no interruptions. <laughs> let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for ele electric shocks, for electric burn? Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft of the office safety plan yet? Already. All right, Diana, now I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Um, great. I work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made, so, made much progress on that. All right, then I work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity risk, value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay, there you go. Ta -da. What was that? I don't know. Okay, so thank you so much, ladies. Uh, Rolando, raise a hand and also uh, somebody else, but I didn't see who. So who wants to practice with Rolando? Okay, we have three people who want to practice with you, but wait a second. Uh, with Anna. With Anna. Anna Mariela. Anna Beatriz. Beatriz. Anna Beatriz. Okay, excellent. Yes, you can go. So, Marcos, Rolando, Josue, Beatriz. Ready, okay. set, and go. Let me check if the list of hazards and safety measure is complete. Measure for electric shock, for electric burn. No, I'm sorry, sorry. I don't use the intonation. The intonation for the question, that's right. <laughs> okay. okay, I repeat. Let me check if the list of hazards and safety measure is complete. Measure for electric shock, for electric burn, yeah, it is. Have you finished um, the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Beatriz? She's Beatriz. in here. Beatriz, we can listen. Yeah, your microphone is, is muted. It's off. No, no, no. Oh, no. no Your no. microphone doesn't work. Maybe. Yeah, maybe if you disconnect the microphone and you just speak directly to the computer's microphone, you can disconnect your headphones. Uh -huh. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Loud and clear. Yes. yes. Okay. Already, Orlando, now I work on the plan for reporting hazard and incidents. Great, I work on, on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value and risk level. That's sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, there you go. 
Congrats. Thank you guys for volunteering. I'm going to use another emoji here. That would be this one. A blink. So uh, the noise sounds like Scooby-Doo Papa song. <laughs> what? Okay, Flor, thank you for the clarification there. So we, uh, we have time for moving on to the next one. <laughs> so in this case, I'm just going to pay attention. I'm going to ask you to pay attention to the words that I highlighted. Uh, if there are other words that I didn't highlight and you would like to, to, you would like me to tell you the pronunciation, I can do it. Okay. So the words here are hazards, hazards. Okay. With the sound Z in the middle, hazards. Uh, measures, this is a tricky word. A lot of people don't pronounce it correctly at the beginning. Measures, because in the middle is a zh, measures, okay? Measures, uh, this word, okay? It looks like born or born, but it's burn, like an e. Burn, burn, like if you're going to say Bernardo, yeah, burn, okay? Burn, and then safety, safety right safety uh here i highlighted or well not highlighted i underlined the word reporting because maybe you, you think that is report but it's not it's reporting right report um progress is not progress is progress the stress is on the first syllable okay progress uh, then potential right potential it's shawl, right at the end. Uh, severity, that's uh, severity. That's the stresses on the second syllable, severity. Value, okay, value. That's another word that can be tricky, okay, value. Uh, so it's liu, right, value. And the sound v at the beginning. So uh, risk is not risk, it's risk, like a short e, como una e cortita risk right short like no nah, i would be like like a short e like no nah, eh, corta eh, sh risk yeah so uh, that's it incident probabilities uh that's it electric shocks that's not a difficult word okay so that's the vocabulary and that's the conversation okay of course, you can practice it by yourself. That will help you to get fluency, right? To put yourself in the two scenarios with the two roles. And now we're going to move on because life continues. Do you have any questions or comments about this conversation? Yes, no? Do you follow me? On Twitter? No, we did No. <laughs> No, I don't use Twitter that much, to be honest. I don't remember the last time that I opened Twitter. Okay, who has worked on the office safety plan? Who has worked on the office safety plan? Question for Mariela. Mariela? Yes, sorry, I have okay. a problem with the computer. No problem. Who is uh, who has worked on the office safety plan? The office safety plan. Mm, let me check. Um, I think it's Marcos. Yes. Okay. Uh, actually. In this case, you have to pay attention to the to the conversation, right? So I'm, that's why I'm showing to you. So you can see uh, what Marcos is saying that he's going to work on. And then uh, what is Josue saying that he's going to do? So who has worked, like already did it, on the office safety plan? So it, it was Josue because, uh, uh -huh, well, that's, no, 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 no. In this case, uh, Marco says, great, I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made that much progress on that. And then Josue says, all right, 
Then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. So the question but, is, who has worked on the office safety plan? But in the first uh, paragraph, it says, have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? And then and Josue, Josue respond already. already. So yeah, here is the key word here. Let me, let me, let me, let me high, point it out. Okay, uh, first draft safety plan yet, office safety plan here. Okay, and then says already. Mm -hmm. Now, who is missing here? Who hasn't participated too much in these exercises? Let me check. Question number two goes to Freddy's, thank you. Who will work on the plan to report hazards and incidents? Who will work on the plan to report hazards and incidents? Josue. Josue. Josue says that he's going to be working on that. Okay, mm -hmm. then we continue with the last one. Where is in the area, in, in an area of the risk uh, assessment process in which the managers haven't progressed much. In which one? The question was for me? No, that was open for anybody. Okay. Marcos. Marcos. He said, I work on some ideas of on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. Yeah, they haven't made so progress on controlling risks. Okay, controlling risk. So the answer is controlling risks, right? So um, that's the area that they have in progress. And now some vocabulary to, for you to clarify, okay, the, the what we have been doing here, a uh, risk. Okay, so for this, I'm going to ask some volunteers. Number one is going to be for Jackie. Number two is going to be for, let me check. Laura, are you there? Francisco? Yes, teacher. Okay, number two is for you. And okay. number three is going to be for, Lor, are you home? No, teacher, but I can answer. No, if you're driving, no, don't do it. No, okay. no, my, my husband is driving now. Oh, okay, so yes, you can do it. So number three is for you. Number four, um, let me check. Somebody who has the camera off. Okay, Janari, number four. Number five, Diana. And number six is going to be for Jennifer. Okay, what is number one? Risk, what is the definition for this? Risk. Risk. Well, I think is, uh, I'm not sure, but I will try. Um, protect from something dangerous or unpleasant. I don't know, teacher, I'm not sure. We're learning, don't worry. Okay, number two, pay attention. If, if you have some comments or some different points of view, you can share that, okay? Ah, okay, Laura, I get it. So? Uh, number two, teacher, I think that is the potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. To cause what? Harm. harm. Harm to harm. cause harm. Yeah, in that case, okay. you put the the H as harm. as J, right? Harm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Harm. Correct. Uh, next one is number three. Me. Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Um, I think exposure is protected from something dangerous or unpleasant. 
Mm, pleasant, pleasant, pleasant. Wait a second. Okay. So you think that has uh, exposure is the definition that somebody had mentioned that was for. Yeah. I, okay. That's I'm okay. Sure That's okay. Don't worry. I think. I think the risk is potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. I uh, agree with Blanca, teacher. Okay. So we're going to check that in a moment. Don't worry. And um, for it's number four. Sure. I got a different uh, opinion for risk. <laughs> okay, this is going to be funny. Uh -huh. For risk, my opinion is likelihood of harm in a specific circumstance. Okay. That is exposure. Exposure. Mm. <laughs> okay, what, what about safety measure? Well, exposure for me is the same than floor. Okay. Protected from something dangerous or emplacement. Number five. It's my number turn. four. Safety measure. Oh, you didn't. You didn't select that. That that the the option that I say. Uh, you said unprotected from something dangerous. Yes. Uh huh. Exposure. Yes. Yes, it's here. There's a line here. A little. Okay. It looks like a mess, but I, it's there. <laughs> okay. Uh, safety measure. Uh, number four. Safety measure. Yep. Procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. Okay. Thank you. Number, number five. five. Irreversible damage. 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 A consequence or damage that is so serious that is impossible to undo. Ah. Number six. Six, Jennifer. Sorry, procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. That's precautionary. I think, but I'm not sure. But you're not sure. Okay, so. Precautionary. Uh -huh, somebody has a different opinion because we're missing a definition here. Aim to protect someone yeah. or something from a hazardous situation. I think the, that 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 the six is aimed to protect someone something from uh, as others. That's what I think. Number five or number six. Number six. Number the six. six okay. The number six is the is the two of the second option. The second option. Okay, guys. So uh, here, in order not to get confused, because I can't forget <laughs> what the, the 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 correct order is. Okay. The definition, uh, when you say the first one, uh, number five, that is ir irreversible damage. As um, Who was saying it? I think it was Floor, right? No, it was Diana. No. Diana, Diana. said that. Uh -huh. So it's uh, the, something that it can be undo. Okay. It can be undo. It can be undo. So that would be the definition for that one. Okay. So it is correct. Then, a precautionary is the second definition, aim to protect someone or, or something, okay? Yeah. Uh, then the number four, safety measure, the definition is number three, procedure to prevent something from happening, that's correct. Exposure, well, exposure, the definition is unprotected from something dangerous, okay? So that is unprotected, exposure. No, protected. A risk is likelihood of harm in a specific circumstances. Okay, risk and hazard is potential to be dangerous. That is the difference between the two definitions. Okay, so what is the the translation of hazard? I'm sorry, I cannot speak Spanish. It's like a dangerous. Oh my God. Please tell me. It's like uh, a dangerous. Or damage. A hazard. Uh huh. According to definition, you got it. Hazard. It's like a. It's like a dangerous teacher. Potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. Uh huh. 
it's potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. Uh, for example, when you see the chemicals or different uh, liquids, they say hazard or hazard, hazardous, right? So because it's, it, it can be dangerous. So like you better- in car, teacher. Like in the what? In the car, the hazard signals. Yeah, exactly. That's correct. So uh, guys, uh, the time is up, unfortunately, but we finished with this vocabulary. If you want to uh, advance a little bit more on the, on the exercises, you can start working a little bit on the exercise number five that is on, on page number 34. It's related to this and it's about uh, examples of workplace hazards related to each of the categories in the charts. You can do that. If not, don't worry. We're going to work on that on Monday. So don't forget to prepare your okay. speech, please. Uh, minimum one minute and a half or two minutes because you are in a good level of English. So let's say that you can teach me some, some things right now. So I will, I will be taking notes. I will be watching the video, right? So it's going to be really, really interesting to see your topics. So- You're joking, right? Hmm? You're joking. Mm -hmm. What? You are joking. How we're gonna teach the teacher? I think. I think. <laughs> of course, you know a lot of things that I don't know. So you you can teach me a lot of things. That's what I enjoy uh, working with with you because you have a lot of experiences. So I, I learn from everybody, <laughs> and I know that you learn from each other. So that's the best learning possible, right? Because everybody's. Oh. It's a different world in a different environment, so you can share different things. So yes, I'm sure that I'm learning a lot of things from you and that's great for me. So uh, I'm looking forward to hearing your speeches on Monday and Tuesday. Um, remember that on Wednesday we finish the, the, the module and it is necessary that we, that we complete the survey on Wednesday, okay? We complete the satisfaction survey on Wednesday in the class. So please don't open the link yet until okay. Wednesday in the class. And uh, enjoy the weekend, okay? Take care of yourself. Be very careful. Um, you know, the situation is still uh, complicated because of the virus. Um, and I, before I forget, I want to uh, remind the last people from the list that are going to be staying for the last 10 minutes. So according to my list, I am missing Jennifer, Flor, Blanca, and one extra volunteer. Somebody, uh, I think it was, I'm not sure if it was Laura who was missing, but we're going to solve that for the last day of the classes, right? If not, we're going to do something else for the last day of the class. So don't worry, but at least I have Jennifer, you tell me if you can stay tonight, please. Teacher, uh, I, I, can, I already have two eyes. Two? Twice. Really? Yes. Why was that possible? Maybe I got confused with the name, right? So yeah. I don't know, I, but. In between Flor and Brian. I think it was uh, this week or the last one. Right, it was the last, last Friday. One. It was the last one because somebody didn't participate. So you stayed, I remember. Uh huh. You're right. So, uh, Flor is still on, on, on the way, so I don't know if Blanca can help us out tonight. Today, no, but on Monday, yes, yeah. of course. Today, no, but on Monday, yes. Yeah. So, I need a volunteer. Dun, 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 dun. to accompany me for the cup of coffee. Okay, so uh, there is an extra- You are too far for a cup of coffee. I'm too far, that's a shame. No, but this is tea, so not, not coffee tonight. Tomorrow is Saturday, so no way. Okay, so uh, that will be for the last five minutes, guys, because we're basically done a little bit ahead of time. So. Uh, who can have some extra minutes? Anybody? Not the ones that I mentioned, anybody else? Emilio could stay, but he only speaks Spanish, so no. Uh, 
Dun, 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 dun. So we stay with everybody for the last five minutes. <laughs> okay. Nope. Me, teacher, if nobody wants me. That's so sad. I'm going to cry all the weekend. <laughs> What happened, Gustavo? He said he wants to stay. <laughs> wow. It's one hour from Santa Ana. Wow. That's. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's far. Yeah, yeah. So, what are your weekend plans? Uh, well, uh, I still uh, paint the yeah, art because uh, today I paint my own so I need a break because I, I, I can do make, I can do uh, make nothing because uh, I can I can swim. Uh, how say that? Swim, swim. What? What do you no, say? What? Sudar. sudar, sweat. Yeah, sweat. Sweat by. Yeah, we're we cannot hear you so well, uh, Gustavo. But I think that we got part of the idea that you were trying, or what you were trying to say. Okay, who's going to be working tomorrow, until noon? Until noon, Freddy's. All day. All day. Okay. Beatriz, what about you? Rolando? I At don't night. work on weekends. You don't work on weekends, Rolando? At night on Saturday. Only at night? Yeah, ah, on Saturday. Okay, only at night. From what time to what time? Uh, uh, from 6 from six p.m. to 2 a.m. Wow. I have to cover the production for Saturday. Okay. You take I, turns with other people, right? I I will make the newspaper for Sunday. Okay. So you if, if you can buy Sunday's newspaper to see what yeah. Rolando was doing. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye <laughs> teacher. Uh, in my case, I don't work on the weekend uh, yet, but they offer me a, a preparation course that I might start next Saturday for 10 Saturdays. So I think I'm going to be working in the morning <laughs> for four hours. Four, it's difficult five, for me to say no. <laughs> that's, that's for one. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. On Sunday, nobody works on Sunday here. Well, Rolando is still going to be until two a.m. on Sunday, but the rest of you. Well, are... I, I, I don't work, but I have to meet every single Saturday. But tomorrow, I I don't go. I I. You won't go. I won't go. That. Okay. Okay. Got it. I will go out with some friends and eat a Korean food. Korean food. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So, um, yeah, there are some good restaurants in San Salvador for Asian food. Now, uh, the last thing is that if you need any help with the platform, guys, I forgot to say that, uh, please let me know. Remember that by today or tomorrow, let's say you have to be done with the assignments from the unit three, and that would be a task three, right? And, um, the last three days of next week, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, you can catch up with the unit four. Okay, we already started working with the unit four today, as you notice, right? We're talking about risks and uh, hazards. And um, by Wednesday, I am going to be checking the, how much you have progress on the, on the platform to upgrade. Uh, well, not to upgrade, to update all the, the activities that you have done all your grades and um, keep keep
keep in mind, right? Keep in mind that it's really good if you find an opportunity, a moment on your weekend to practice a little bit of English. Maybe by watching a video or a series or a movie or reading a little article, a little book uh, about English. That would be something useful. Or maybe playing on an app or doing something with that with your cell phone. That would be an option too. So um, the idea is that in order to improve the language, you need a lot of hours, a lot of time, okay, invested in practicing. So if it's possible for you, do it, okay? Um, I am going to share with you, and I forgot about that, a link um, where you can take a little test to have an idea about your level of English based on this website, okay? But remember that everybody's level is different. So for one website, you can say that you are advanced. Another website can tell you that you are intermediate. But it's good to evaluate yourself and check what aspects you can improve. So before I forget, I am going to be sharing that link with you. Uh, I'm not sure if I have the WhatsApp app open here, but it is a really nice website. Uh, yeah, it's open here, so I will share it with you. Okay, so read the indications, take the quiz. It takes about 20 minutes. It's really good. I was taking it and yeah it helps so um that will be all for tonight guys thank you so much for staying i i didn't imagine that you wanted to volunteer together so that was great uh <laughs> <laughs> i think it's better right because it's like we relax we disconnect from the the manual the activities and we just talk so um no. yeah so enjoy the weekend, have fun if you can, right? If you go out, you know that you have to be extremely careful and keep your distance from people that you don't know, okay? Um, and just that, right? Just that. Try to chill out, relax. You deserve to rest and take some moments for yourself. It is also important, okay? It's healthy, okay? So... Okay. Um, Take care of yourself, guys. God bless you all. And I'll see you on Monday. God willing. Okay. God willing hey. is primero oh, de Thanks, Thank teacher. Thank you, teacher. Again, everyone. Bye. Thanks for all. Good night. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Good night. Au revoir. I need more.